There's been a third day of rioting and violence in Greece following the fatal shooting of a teenage boy by police on Saturday night. The Greek Prime Minister, Kostas Karamanlis, has gone on television to appeal for calm as gangs of rock-throwing youths attacked police stations and set fire to several shops and cars. From Athens, Malcolm Brabant reports on some of the worst riots that Greece has seen in years. This is the third consecutive night of rioting and the worst so far. Thirty buildings in the heart of Athens are burning, lighting up the night sky and stretching the fire brigade to the limits. The rioters are wreaking their vengeance on the symbols of wealth and power in a clear bid to topple the government. The Acropolis is wreathed in smoke and sorrow. The story is the same in university towns across Greece, and especially in the country's second city, Salonika, where students and anarchists have kept up a day-long offensive. The day's troubles began when students from the Aristotle University unleashed their armory of rocks, stones and petrol bombs. Their riot was reinforced by schoolchildren getting their first taste of rebellion in support of a martyr of their generation. The beautiful tourist island of Corfu also became a front line as youths attacked a police station. Resentment of the police is especially strong there because they are blamed for the death of a woman protester earlier this year. Tonight, the family and friends of 15-year-old Alexandros Grigoropoulos are preparing for his funeral. A post-mortem examination was carried out today, but the country is still awaiting the result of ballistic tests. Appeals for calm from the Prime Minister have failed to make any impact. We are all responsible, the government first, but also political parties, young people and other authorities in society. The Prime Minister has promised that businesses which have been damaged by the rioting will be compensated. The bill will be enormous. The situation here is completely out of control. The Prime Minister is currently consulting his inner cabinet to determine what to do next. Some political experts believe that he's about to declare a state of emergency which would give him some control over the streets. What they rule out is that he will call in the troops. This country has got a long and bitter memory of the military dictatorship and calling in the troops would be too much for Greece to bear. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, in Athens. This